Hi, my name is Kate and you're very welcome here on my channel where we talk about fragrances. Today I want to dive into the luscious white whipped cream blend. <laughs> so let's talk about creamy and lactonic fragrances. I wanted to film a video like this for a while and I feel like now I have enough fragrances to show you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, you know what to do. And bring yourself some nice cup of tea or coffee with milk or creams. And please just try to ignore if you hear any noises because again, there's a big project going on by my house, so it's just insane. Let's begin with one of my latest purchases. This is Rolling in Love by Killian. I wanted this fragrance for a while. I love the bottle. And now I have all black, blue, white, and red. So that's pretty fun to collect. And this is beautiful. So this is kind of um, almond milk with freesia, tuberose, vanilla, and almond. I love almond. Yeah, it's definitely almondy and creamy. I can smell both. There's almond milk and almond as a nut separately. You know, it's like a huge cloud that is very soft and bouncy. And when I spray this fragrance, I feel like I'm just falling into that big cloud. I would call this fragrance Dolce Far Niente, you know, when you're just in a great mood and you don't have to do anything and you don't want to do anything. You just want to enjoy life, relax, do whatever you want and just be beautiful. You know, that's it. That's the fragrance. That's the mood. Sets the tone for today's video, I think. Next, let's not go too far. So this is Amouage Love Tuberose. And this is whipped cream and tuberose soaked in that whipped cream. Mm, maybe a little of sandalwood in a base too. Everything about this is lactonic, creamy, white. It's the color of this bottle. It's very sweet, a little marshmallowy. It's a sweet fragrance. And this stays forever on the skin. I spray it in the morning. I smell it next morning. Really, it's forever with you once you sprayed it. I still love it. Even though I don't like this kind of longevity, I don't need the whole day and even more of the same fragrance. But I'm ready to forgive anything when it's so nice. <laughs> now let's move to something a little bit more simple. So. This is Commodity Milk Plus. So I guess they have regular milk and milk plus. And I already sprayed it here. And this is very woody. It's this lactonic sandalwood or cedar. I definitely smell cedar here. I think they also mentioned a note of whipped cream. Yeah, it's very creamy, but very woody too. And it's a little bit sugary to my taste. But sometimes when I'm in the mood, that works. Yeah, I love cedar here, actually. I think it's more about wood to me than milk. I don't really understand why it's called milk. I wouldn't call it that way. I think they just meant creaminess. They wanted to attract people who wanted the creamy, lactonic fragrance. Yeah, it's kind of a sugary, a little bit creamy cedar with sandalwood in a base. Nice, uh, a little bit powdery. Yeah, I don't have much to say about this fragrance, but it's still nice. I think I tried the regular milk too, but I barely could smell it. And I don't know, was it connected with me just smelling a lot of fragrances or is it just very, very mild? I don't know, but this one is nice. Oh, I wanted to show you Inicio. So this is Paragon. I have this um, travel size here. And this is one of the best sandalwoods, together with Palo Santo, sage, and lavender, and it's creamy. So the sandalwood is very, very creamy. You know, sandalwood can be different. Sometimes it's salty and reminds of pickles, like with La Labo, Santal 33, and sometimes it's very lactonic. So this is the opposite side of La Labo. Yeah, it's very relaxing. I think they call it a masculine scent, that it's for men. I don't see the problem with women wearing it. I, I cannot say that it's very, very masculine. No, not at all. 
it's, it's also powdery. I really like the projection of Anitio fragrances because they really project nicely. Not too much. It's strong, but it stays within your own reach. You know, <laughs> like Baccarat Rouge, for example, I feel like it just fills everything. And many other fragrances, like this one, it fills the room. Everybody will smell like it. People who don't use the fragrance or use the fragrance, they will end up smelling like that after they meet you. <laughs> this one will not do that, but uh, people will smell it anyway. Yeah, it's very relaxing. It smells like the very beginning of spring. And I went outside of the city somewhere to a little cabin and everything has melted and the sun is very warm and I burned some Palo Santo in a big wooden house. Mm, yeah, very nice and relaxing. I would say meditative fragrance. I recommend to try it. I like it a lot. Maybe I'll think about the full bottle. I just didn't use it. I actually used more than half of this. So yeah, maybe it's time to think about a bottle. Uh, really beautiful fragrance. Next, let's talk about Memo. I have two Memo fragrances here. First is Marfa. Mm, I love Marfa. Yeah, this is a very green tuberose. I think they mention agave. I don't know how agave smells. I know only agave spirits like tequila, mezcal, and stuff like that. I know their smell, but I don't know how the plant itself smells. Yeah, it's very green and angry tuberose in the beginning. It's like spiky, you know? It's with a stem, like the stem is broken and it's the juice is coming out and the flower itself is there too. Really beautiful, peppery. I feel like there is pepper too in the opening notes. But then it becomes more and more like tonic, more and more luscious. Like it's moving towards something. Oh no, not like this. Probably a little bit more of something like this, more calm and creamy and white. It it doesn't lose it, its character though. Uh, this is a fragrance with a character, and I know from a lot of people they either love it or hate it. I love it. It's a fragrance for a sunny day. It's a fragrance for a date. It's a fragrance when you just want to live. It has a lot of energy and it's a big booster for your mood. I like it. That tuberose that I like wearing it and I like how it changes because you're not bored with it. I think it transforms nicely too from this very aggressive peppery tuberose to something more like tonic and kind of feminine. Mm, I love Marfa. Also, I need to think about the full bottle. I actually like my practice with buying something smaller first because sometimes I play enough with the fragrance and I feel like I don't need the full bottle. And sometimes I feel like, yes, I need more. I need more. Okay, and another uh, Sherwood here in the list. Oh, another Sherwood. Another memo here in the list is Sherwood. Mm. This is very powdery, very fluffy, very feminine too. Very creamy. They mentioned carrot seeds, something like that. I think also sandalwood here, tuberose maybe. I actually noticed that a lot of creamy fragrances, as you can see here, yes, there is a note of tuberose. White florals, especially tuberose, I guess it's very easy to play with and make it creamy, so it works. Although I love the green tuberose too. Yeah, I talked about this fragrance in one of my videos, and it's also like a cloud, this powdery cloud. It smells a little bit like sugar powder. Mm, I like it. It's so nice. Um, these guys actually remind me of each other. They are not completely similar. No, I don't say they're dupes or anything like that. No. But uh, I feel like um, when I was buying this, I already had this. And I even had thoughts that maybe I should not buy Killian because I already have Sherwood. But who cares, right? <laughs> when did it stop us? Come on, we bought fragrances for less. But they remind me of each other. They have the same mood, all this feminine, very sweet, very powdery, very relaxing. But this is sweeter. I think that the difference is that the sweetness here is higher. And uh, here you can smell almonds. Here you cannot smell almonds. 
but there are definitely a lot of similarities. If you're thinking about something of that profile, something powdery and feminine and creamy, you can take a look at both of these and decide which one you like more, or maybe just get both, or maybe get neither also is a variant. Next, I know that this fragrance is discontinued. It's Orchid Soleil by Tom Ford, but, but, I wish it were not discontinued. I don't know. I just hate the idea that they don't make this fragrance anymore. And I think I'll get a backup of this. This is tuberose, but it's Tom Ford tuberose. It's very plasticky in the beginning, even like plastic is burning or something like this. A lot of people are scared of this when they smell the top notes because it's very unnatural. It's very synthetic. It's plastic. But then this weird scent, this unusual smell starts calming down and it turns into this very creamy tuberose with whipped cream and chestnut and some wood and maybe some other flowers. I'm not sure which, but yeah, it's just uh, amazing. This fragrance is addictive to me. I, I cannot even explain why, but I have this strange but amazing reaction to it. Yeah, this chestnut, I don't know if I can smell chestnut and whipped cream because it's also so well balanced and everything is so close together, it's so tight, that it becomes really hard to pick out some notes specifically. No, it's more of a full thing, you know, that you can only look at from different sides. But it's a quality of designer fragrances. That's how it's supposed to be. They're supposed to be very smooth. It's very unusual. It's, it stands out. It smells not like other fragrances. It smells not like other tuberoses. It's something else. I love that I have it. Maybe this is a 50 ml. I think maybe I need more because it's just not enough. And I love this in the summer when your skin is hot and when it's hot and sunny outside, it becomes even creamier and it's like waves, waves, waves around you. It's beautiful. And the longevity is very good for Tom Ford because not all Tom Ford fragrances have good longevity, but this one is perfect. I'll say a couple of words about Mirabile by Quinta Canto. So yeah, creams and alcohol. So this is Bailey's with mint and vanilla, a lot of vanilla. Yeah, this pepperminty vanilla, it's so amazing. I'm so happy this exists. To simplify, this is alcohol with creams and mint. In the beginning, it, it's piney. I smell pine or something very, very green. Mm, yeah, it's so great. I love this fragrance in winter. It's so warming and cozy and festive. You know, you want to go to a Christmas fair. You just want to have fun. You want to wear some funny fluffy hat, something like that, or fluffy gloves and spend time with your family and friends, like throw snowballs at each other. This is Christmas and New Year's and fun in winter. I like this a lot. And um, also the bottle is very interesting. Let me know what you think about the bottles. I know some people love them. Some people hate them. I don't hate them. It's something else, something different. And it's actually very pleasant to touch. So why not? And I have Pierre Guillaume. So this is Mask Maori. And I wanted to speak about this and another fragrance of his. I have a sample of that one, but it's somewhere over there and I don't want to look for it. I will start with Mask Maori. This is the best hot chocolate in the world with a lot of milk, with slight touch of cinnamon. It's very creamy. Mm. Yeah, I would say it's real milk. It doesn't smell like a cow or anything, but it's not all oat milk or almond milk. It's more like milk milk or creams. Mm. It smells very relaxing. Uh, one time I took a nap <laughs> in this fragrance. It was wonderful. I might have taken a nap because of this fragrance, because it's so cozy. 
Yeah, mm, it's delicious. It's very, very delicious. And I actually have the old version of it. So this is Parfumerie Générale. Now this fragrance is under Pierre Guillaume brand, under his name, under perfumer's name. This is still the kind of previous edition of this fragrance. There is a little tricky thing though. Some people smell in the base some kind of raw mushrooms. I don't smell it. I was so scared that I'm going to smell it. I don't, but I know what they mean. There is something, it doesn't smell like mushrooms, but there is some texture about it that can remind you of mushrooms. It's very hard to explain. It's like a very creamy, milky mushroom shaped something, <laughs> you know, but it's still chocolate and milk. Uh, so don't worry about it. I just warned you in case because I saw some people on Fragrantica saying that and that they were disappointed. I don't smell it and I have a pretty good nose, but it's also very individual, right? Um, so try it before you buy it. But I don't think that the new version has that problem, though. I think it's only about the uh, this one. So I hope you won't uh, run into this problem if you decide to get it. I also wanted to mention another Pierre Guillaume's fragrance that is named Iron Madon. And that one is very, very creamy. And I feel like it has the same base and something very similar to this, this creaminess, you know, the core of this fragrance without chocolate, only creaminess, but he added incenses to that. So it's very, very creamy and sweet, but not chocolatey fragrance, just a sweet milk with incenses and maybe some nuts in it too. It's very interesting, delicious. I really like gourmands by Pierre Guillaume because they don't suffocate me. For example, this gourmand can suffocate me a little bit. And this guy also can. It has the potential to suffocate you sometimes. Uh, but Pierre Guillaume's gourmands don't do that. They also don't stay in my skin that long, so you have to compromise this I like a lot, and Iron Madon is beautiful too. And incenses are not too strong. I wouldn't say that you would smell like a church, but they're definitely there. So you will catch them probably. Still very nice, and I recommend to try. Okay, guys, hope that you liked my selection of today. Tell me what are your favorite creamy fragrances. Let's talk in the comments. I'm curious. I want to know and maybe make some additions to this group. Wish you a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye-bye.